Our next guest is an Emmy and Golden Globe nominated actress and producer. You know from her work on films like Mank and Rules Don't Apply, she stars in the third season of Emily in Paris, which begins streaming on Netflix December 21st. Let's take a look. Bonjour, it's Emily in Paris. Today is day one of fun employment. I want to know where and what you guys want to see. I am your eyes and ears to this beautiful city. Wow, oh, a lot of you are joining already. Okay, let's see here. I want to see Monet's Water Lilies. So do I. Can you try Angelina's Hot Chocolate? Oh, I do not need an excuse for that, so yes, I will be. And uh, go back to, go back to America. No, I think we're done here for now, all right? But my DMs are open and I will see you there. Mwah. Merci. Please welcome back to the show, Lily Collins, everybody. <laughs> So happy to be back. This is very exciting. We did not know this, and I will admit yeah. to have not seen the film, but you and Paul Bettany worked together before. We did. It was my second film, yeah, called it was your Priest. Sex called Priest. It was described on Google as a sci-fi vampire thriller. Is that I mean that feels very appropriate for about eight years ago, where yeah. they were very in at the time. There was a lot of vampire stuff. There about, was a lot of yeah. vampire and stuff. And here is a real good shot. Obviously, this is a <laughs> This is a very sort of heady, dialogue-driven um, yes, chamber there. piece. And here's a picture of you and Paul. There you are. And look, that's, <laughs> that, that face says it all. I mean, I think this was like my third day on set. Well, there you go. Yeah. It seemed very natural. You definitely <laughs> seem to be uh, concerned. Flailing, um, I like to say. <laughs> a lot has happened uh, since we were last year. Uh, engaged, wow. married, celebrated your one-year anniversary. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, a lot happened in, in COVID. A lot happened in COVID. <laughs> One of the nice things about sort of being in this side of it, especially with Emily in Paris, is this is a show people enjoyed a great deal during COVID, but we were talking backstage. This is the first time you've actually been able to be out and promoting it and see your cast off yeah, the set. It's crazy to also be back in rooms like this with an audience and with you. It's so nice. We never really got to celebrate together and all of a sudden it feels real. You know, when something comes out and all you're seeing is is stats and numbers and you're like, I think it's hitting, I don't know, I <laughs> right. think people like it. And now you get to have the interactions and celebrate and it feels really special. Well, it is really special and it's really cool to have it back on. You have a co-star in the show, uh, Bruno, who yes. is also one of the stars of White Lotus. I and know! I very, <laughs> uh, it was very nice to see him turn up in uh, in both. Are you, have you caught up on, on White Lotus? I have not yet caught okay. up. Unfortunately, I haven't had time, you know, World Cup. Of course. Oh, been on. I'm so sorry to say, but that's been it's been like Emily Press and World Cup. But I I am very excited to support Bruno, and, and I right. loved season one, so okay. I'm very excited. Well, I won't give anything away. It turns uh, yeah. out great for him. You guys. <laughs> um, I've heard little spoilers <laughs> here and there already. Wait, well, World Cup now. I know uh, we're down to France and Argentina. Yeah. Is, is Emily in Paris loyalty here, making a root for France? I, I mean, we were just in Paris promoting the show and there was a game and all of us were running from room to room in our PJs being like, that game's on. And they're like, we gotta get ready for the premiere. <laughs> and everyone's like, what do we choose? But it's been really fun to support and yeah. to cheer on. And I just, we, Charlie and I both love watching it. It's so fun. Um, I've been lucky enough uh, to know your husband over the years. I also know his yeah. parents. You have very good in-laws. I'm lucky <laughs> I have good in-laws as well. Is this something that you recognized early on that you'd hit the jackpot? Yeah, oh my God, are you kidding? Mary, Ted, Malcolm, I, I'm so fortunate for my in-laws and, and you know, I think I actually met Mary and Ted before I met Charlie, which was interesting. We danced together. Oh, um, wow. Yeah. This is Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Yes. And you've got to work with Ted on an episode of Curb. I did. More importantly, you got to work with Larry. I mean, Ted's great. I love Ted. Yeah, you got I to mean, do a scene with Larry Day. Yeah, and it was like a fleeting, like, 10 to 20 seconds where we just freaked out at each other, which was so fun. We just like screamed at each other. You did. I, I went back and watched, because if memory served, when yeah. I was thinking about it today, I'm like, I don't think it's very long that they spend together, but you got the full Larry. You Guys, <laughs> that, that is the most important freeze frame you'll ever see of me. I think that that's the most exciting. I mean, it literally was just like, ah, the whole time. And it was all improv. I guess yeah. I can, ah, improv really well. Yeah, you can know. scream, you can scream improv. Really yeah, I good. scream with Paul flying off a train and I can do it with Larry. <laughs> that's when they saw Priest and they were like, I think <laughs> if she's as good as she was there. 
Same, 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 all grown same up. Same outfit, yeah, too. Same outfit. <laughs> Um, how do you find out that you're going to be in an episode of Curb? Did you just get a phone call? And... Uh, yeah, actually, weirdly. I was up shooting Windfall, a movie I did with Charlie, um, and it was my 32nd birthday, and I got a phone call saying that Larry David wants you in Curb. And I was like, why? Why, why me? What? And I had known his daughter, Cassie, for a while, and I assumed it was that. And it was like, no, they have a storyline about you and Emily in Paris. I just thought that was... So random <laughs> and amazing because I'm like a huge fan. And yeah, I was kind of surreal. And I found out, it was weird actually, I found out on my 30th birthday that I was going to be in Emily in Paris. Wow. And then on my 32nd birthday, I found out I was going to be in Curb. On my 20th birthday, I found out I'd be in my first movie, The Blind Side. I'm like, what's going to happen at 40? <laughs> I think it's going to be Priest 2 with yes! Paul Bessie. <laughs> I am down. Um, so you're a co-star, yeah. Ashley Park. You guys actually live basically yeah. in the same building in Paris when you're shooting this show. We did. Is that was, This is the first year that we lived in the same building, which was so much fun. It was basically life imitating art. Uh, and every day we'd either like run up to each other's apartments. We'd like do lines together for, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we'd, <laughs> we would run lines together. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, we call it run line. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Correction. Um, we'd like play Mario Kart together. We'd talk about life. And we'd go on adventures around the city, scootering, bicycling, going. You have yeah. a, this is like a, a photo from a mystery novel. Because this oh is a photo God. that was taken um, by Ashley at a flea market. And there's something yeah. that's happening so, in this moment. No one we... here will, will ever know, but I will tell you. Um, OK, so we're at a flea market. And this is a selfie that Ashley took in a mirror, which uh, it, it's very telling of all three of us in this photo. <laughs> Ashley loves to you know, um, take photos wherever we go, we go to like create memories and have it. Charlie is being inquisitive, as one should, talking to the artist where we are, and I'm feverishly touching my tooth, realizing I just chipped my entire front <laughs> tooth, and I have to film a close-up on Monday, and it's Saturday, and we're in France, where things are pas possible a yeah. lot of the time. <laughs> and finding a dentist on a Sunday would be nearly impossible, but per, per Emily's solution-driven nature, I found a dentist. Wow. On a Sunday morning, who had been out the night before at the Rolling Stones concert. Uh -huh. <laughs> And bicycled to the office, let me in, didn't really scrub up, and then I lay on the table and he's like, let me fix your tooth. <laughs> I was like, okay. And he did a great job, and he didn't charge me. Wow. That's a I real, was a win-win. So that's if a real needs, Emily in Paris storyline. Yeah. What, do you remember how yeah. you chipped it, or you just I know? was eating an apple. Okay, well. In the back of a taxi. Uh, un pomme? Un pomme, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Une pomme, which I will never, ever do again. Pas de pomme. Pas, pas, pas de, de pomme. pomme. Um, no, not good. Not my mom, good. Okay, my mom was a French teacher, so that's why. It's, it's very impressive. Comes pretty naturally. Yeah. Um, <laughs> there is something that happened, I guess, in your writer's room that happens mm. in the show this year, which is a pigeon gets in the office. Yeah, I mean, isn't, has that never happened to you? It has happened to us. We had a pigeon oh. in our office. <laughs> Oh, it really has? Yeah. Oh, my God. We have pigeons in our office, like, pretty much all the time. I um, mean, we're in New York. We are in New York. It. I yeah. get it. You, yeah. We, did you get to actually work with them? We did. Professional pigeons? Guys, pigeons are some of the hardest casts to wrangle, and they're the most expensive. Really? Um, the pigeons come more than other Yeah, ones? they come with wranglers. OK. And there are multiple kinds of pigeons. There are the trained flight pigeons, uh -huh. and there are the wild pigeons. And in this, in episode three, you will see we get to deal with both. Really? We had a, a clear flight plan for these pigeons to go through, uh -huh. and they just didn't. And yeah. and what they used in the show was, was real life moments of them going rogue. I feel like you definitely <laughs> want to throw in the extra couple of uh, euros to get the... Um, <laughs> To get the trained pigeons as yeah. opposed to the wild pigeons. I know. Yeah. One, one would think, but they were landing <laughs> all over the place. They didn't speak French. Yeah. They didn't speak English. They didn't speak pigeon. Yeah. They just like did their own thing. And all the takes that they use are of Kate Walsh and I trying our hardest not to crack a smile or laugh and just screaming at them in whatever language we could yeah. to get them to this move. This seems very similar to your work with Larry David. You just had to like <laughs> scream. Scream I'm it. so good at that. <laughs> I um, guess, yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. Congratulations on season three. We're thank always you. so happy to stop by. You guys, Lily Collins, 
The third season of Emily in Paris begins streaming December 21st on Netflix. We'll be right back with more.